Greetings, my friends. We're going to wrap up the entire week's, um, the middle part of this week till now's whole deal with the President Trump finally unveiling his deal of the century. And he waited all this time until now. It could have been unveiled a long, long time ago, but I believe the fact that it was unveiled in 2020 is huge because I've told you many times I believe 2020 may very well be the season of the imminent rapture. I'm not saying it'll happen in 2020. Just saying, if it doesn't, I'll be shocked beyond anything I've ever been shocked by in my entire life. Let's go ahead and go through uh, actual articles over the last couple of days, and I will show you the facts. Again, as the title says, and I will back this up, proof that Trump's deal of the century is the seven-year peace treaty. And also, sadly, it divides Jerusalem, and I'll give you the facts on that as well. <clears throat> okay, let's get into some articles. Take it from the news. Israel's leaders say Trump's seven-year peace deal is akin to the decree from King Cyrus paving the path for a third temple. Huge stuff. Gantz says he will bring the U.S. peace plan to the Knesset approval next week. Netanyahu says he compares Trump's peace deal to David Ben-Gurion, the father of modern Israel's historic, historic claiming Israel as a nation in 1948 when that 70-year generation will see Christ began. This is huge, huge, huge stuff. And shocking development. Arab nations across the Middle East support Trump peace plan. They tell the Palestinians to return to the negotiating table with Israel and to accept this plan because it's in their best interest. Huge stuff, my friends. Trump tells Palestine and everyone else that this deal is the best and the only chance for peace and safety for the rest of forever. Wow. All leaders in Israel are now saying Trump's last seven-year peace deal, last chance in a lifetime for peace and safety, is there right now and all of them pledge to make sure it gets implemented period these are these are new news articles now again from the news a growing number of arab nations and their citizens are heartily approving trump's seven-year peace deal aka the deal of the century and say they will work tirelessly to assure it is implemented including getting the palestinians on board never in history has anyone proposed a peace deal and had this kind of instant and 100 percent committed effect never ever ever and i don't think it'll ever happen again all righty, and here's the deal. Anyone who divides Israel or supports the dividing of Israel is poking God in the eye with a stick. I'm convinced the imminent rapture will make this peace deal a no-brainer and it will instantly pass and then be confirmed by the Antichrist and the Antichrist, after he confirms the world, comforts the world with the lame excuse and lie that aliens took everyone, including the bodies from the graves, the rapture will tear the world's financial system down, scare people to death, and make anything the Antichrist wants a done deal, because he will give them hope, and hope will be in short supply for the next seven years, maybe more. Here's more that I've got written here. <clears throat> would God give away even an inch of heaven? Heaven is God's property, period. Israel is God's property, period. Jerusalem is his eternal capital. Both Jerusalem and Israel were given to the Jewish people via the eternal covenant between God, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Christians are making the argument that Trump says Jerusalem is not divided in a seven-year peace deal. Well, I can say I'm the king of Siam. Does that make it so? It's like the emperor's new clothes. Only one out of the endless people lying about how great he looked had the guts to say he was naked and understood the truth and spoke it. I just can't believe the sheer ignorance of some Christians. Many Christians, actually. I'm seeing endless online so-called Christian websites and journals and blogs that are saying Jerusalem is not being divided, and it still all belongs to Israel. There are even the clueless fence riders who are saying that even though Palestine does get part of Jerusalem and many ancient Israel holy sites, that Jerusalem is still undivided. It is simply ridiculous, and I'm just blown away by how stupid this entire argument is and how it has, has Satan's hands all over it. Trump says no divided Jerusalem. Well, Trump or anyone else can say whatever they like. The bottom line is, what are the facts? Let's say I have a dollar consisting of three quarters, two dimes, and five pennies, and I decide to give you a penny. I then say, oh, the penny is just a little bit, so the dollar is still undivided. Is that true? Of course not. It is no longer a dollar. It's 99 cents. Not whole or complete as it once was. It is now divided between the two of us. 99 cents to me, one penny to you. Trump is giving away a small portion of East Jerusalem as Palestine's capital. He's dividing Jerusalem, period. 
God didn't say whoever gives divides a little bit of, of Jerusalem or some or, or half or most, any of it. Okay. Trump says he'll place a U.S. embassy there as well. That is considered sovereign territory, my friend, of any nation whose name appears on the territory of an embassy. It's sovereign territory. But even if Trump just put a street sign in Jerusalem and said it belonged to Palestine, it would be dividing Jerusalem. He is also giving away many of the most precious holy sites of the entire Bible to Palestine, including Christ's birthplace, the burial ground of the patriarchs of the Holy Bible, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and Adam, the river where Christ was baptized and John the Baptist baptized endless people, Jericho where Joshua fought the battle in Hebron, Canaan's land, the land flowing with milk and honey that God himself gave to the Jews after wandering in the wilderness for 40 years. I truly pray that most Christians can now see this and aren't fooled by anyone's words. The devil's truly working overtime in these last days. Israel's being divided. You can believe what you want to believe. I've shared the facts, and I'm convinced, again, this is the final peace deal because President Trump has done so much for Israel. God's used him, and why would God not use him to implement a seven-year peace treaty as well? Because I believe we're in the last of the last days. I believe the Antichrist and the false prophet are here, Obama and Pope Francis, respectively. I don't believe there's any time for any other peace deals to come out. And this is one that Israel is praising, which has never happened before. Everyone in Israel never happened is praising. The Arabs love it. Never happened before. It is loved around the globe. It is going to be pushed on them at, after the imminent rapture. I'm convinced of it. We're in the last days, my friends, the last moments of the last days. Jesus Christ is your only hope. If you've never been saved or you're backslidden, pray the prayer, do the six steps in a box below the video. No one's guaranteed more time in your life. If you like prayer, contact me. I pray for you every day. I love you all so much. And look up true Christians. Our redemption draweth nigh. We fly soon. Share this video, all my videos and sermons. And just take care of yourselves. And let's get ready to go. Let's witness and pray in what little time we have left. Love you all so dearly. May God bless you. Share this video. We fly soon. Take care. Bye.